fantastic on a wide screen. Mm -hmm. 70 millimeters. Look, do you want to see a menu? Let's negotiate here. What's the soup du jour today? Soup of the day. You got a choice of Polish duck blood or creamy kidney. Beautiful, beautiful. Kick me in a kidney. You got it. Any oyster crackers on your sea bed? Nope, all out. How about the special today? Spread out your options. You got your deep fried gizzards? Fabulous. Cow's brains with okra? You are a temptress. And pickled pig's feet. Pig's feet. I love it. Put me down for a quadruped. If you say so. Any sprouts to go on those feet? I split. So be it. Allison. Hey there, Marcus. Oh, Jesus. What's up? Oh, man. What's going on? I don't get it, Allison. I don't matter? understand it. What is it? Do you want something? you want the waitress? No, don't even try. I don't know what's going on today, Allie. It's really weird. What is it? What's the story? Well, just for an example, this morning I stopped off at a drugstore to buy some aspirin. This is a big drugstore, right? Yeah. I go to the counter. The guy says, what can I do for you? I say, give me a bottle of aspirin. The guy gives me this funny look and he says, oh, we don't have that, sir. I said to him, you're a drugstore and you don't have any aspirin? Did they have any buffering? Yeah. Advil? Yeah. Extra strength Tylenol? Yeah. But no aspirin? No. Wow. And that's the kind of weird thing that's been happening all day. It's like I go to a newsstand to buy the daily news. The guy's never even heard of it. Well, it could have been a misunderstanding. I asked every place. <laughs> Nobody had the news. I had to read the Toronto hairdresser. <laughs> or this. I go into a deli at lunchtime to buy a sandwich. The guy tells me they don't have any pastrami. How can they be a deli if they don't have any pastrami? Was this a Korean deli? This was a kosher from Jerusalem deli. <laughs> oh, we don't carry that sir, he says to me. Has some tongue. Mm. I just got into a cab. The guy says it doesn't go to 56th Street. He starts to take me to Newark instead. Mm-hmm. Looking at me like I'm an alien or something. Mark, settle down. I don't go there, sir. Settle down. Take a breath. You know what this is? Sure. What is it? What's happening to me? Don't panic. You're in a Philadelphia. I'm in a what? You're in a Philadelphia, that's all. But? <laughs> yes. Physically, you're in New York. But metaphysically, you're in a Philadelphia. <laughs> I've never heard of this. You see, inside what we call reality, there are these pockets. These black holes called Philadelphias. You fall into them, you run into exactly the kind of crap that's been happening to you all day. <laughs> Why? Because in a Philadelphia, no matter what you ask for, you can't get it. You ask for something, they're not going to have it. You want to do something, it can't get done. You want to go somewhere, you can't get there from here. Good God. So this is serious. Just remember, Marcus, this is the condition named after the city that invented the cheesesteak. Something <laughs> no one in his right mind would willingly ask for. <laughs> I thought I was just having a very bad day. Sure, millions of people have spent entire lifetimes inside of Philadelphia and never even knew it. Look at the city of Philadelphia itself, hopelessly trapped forever inside of Philadelphia. And do they know it? Well, what can I do? Should I just kill myself now and get over with? You try to kill yourself in a Philadelphia, you're only going to get hurt, babe. So, what do I do? Best thing to do is wait it out. Someday the great cosmic train will whisk you out of the city of brotherly love and off to someplace happier. You're pretty goddamn mellow today. Yeah, well, everybody has to be someplace. Excuse me, is your name Allison Chase? Indeed it is. There was a phone call for you. Your boss? Yeah. He says you're fired. Cool, thanks. So anyways, you have this toggle. Did she just say you got fired? Yeah, I wonder what happens to my pig feet. Allison, you loved your job. Yeah, no sweat. How can you be so calm? Easy. You're in Philadelphia. I woke up in Los Angeles, and life is beautiful. You know, Jesse packed up and left me this morning. Jesse left you? And frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. I say God bless. May your dating pool be a limited size. But your job, the garbage ditch, is your life. So I'll turn it into a movie script and sell it to Paramount. Pitch in some sex, add a little emotional blah, blah, blah. Pitch it to Jack and Dusty, you got a buddy movie with a kind of background. Not relevant enough? I'll throw in the ozone, make it EC. EC? Environmentally correct. Have you heard about this little hole in the ozone? Sure. Marcus, I love this concept. I embrace this ozone. Sure, some people are going to get hurt in the process. 
Meanwhile, everybody else will just tan a little faster. <laughs> so, this is Los Angeles? Well, everybody has to be someplace. Wow. You want my advice? Enjoy your Philadelphia. Sit back, order yourself a beer and a burger, and just chill out for a while. But I can't order anything. Life is great for you out there in the cosmic beach. Whatever I ask for, I get a cheesesteak or something. No, no, there's a very simple rule of thumb in Philadelphia. Just ask for the opposite. What? You can't ask for what you want, you and you ask for the opposite. You ask, you want pastrami, you ask for tongue. You want the daily news, ask for the tongues. Oh. Works great with women. What's more opposite than the opposite sex? Uh-huh. So, <laughs> would you like a bud? I sure could use no. it. Stop. Would you like... A bud. No. <laughs> you don't. Good. Now there's the waitress. Order yourself a bun and a burger. Just don't ask for a bun and a burger. Waitress. Don't call her. She won't come. Oh. You're in a Philadelphia, so just figure. Forget her. Forget her. You don't need that waitress. Forget that waitress. And everything to do with her. Hey, waitress, forget about her. Can I help you, sir? Now that's how you get served in Philadelphia. Can I help you? Uh... No thanks. Okay, what will you have? Excellent. Well, how about some OJ? Sorry, squeezer's broken. Glass of milk? Cast dry. Eggnog? Just ran out. Cup of coffee? Oh, we don't have that, sir. Got any ale? Nope. Stout? Nope. Porter? Just beer. That's too bad. How about a Heineken? Heineken, try again. Rolling Rock? Out of stock. Schlitz? Nix. Dex? Nix. Pro? Tomorrow. Lone Star? Party Heart. Okay. <laughs> Same bun as all we got. No thanks. Give me a bud. <laughs> Anything to eat? No. Name it. Pork chops. Hamburger. Medium. Well done. Baked potato. Fries. And some zucchini. Slice of raw. Burn one. <laughs> Marcus, that was excellent. Thank you. Excellent. You sure you've never done this before? I've spent so much of my life asking for the wrong thing without knowing it. Doing it on purpose comes easy. I hear you. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I had to do it on purpose all those years. Maybe I was in a Philadelphia all along and never knew it. You might have been in a Baltimore. They're practically the same. <laughs> okay. Here's your bud. And one cheesesteak. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Wait a minute. What is that? That's a cheesesteak. Uh, I beg your pardon? It's a cheesesteak. Uh, no. Uh, I ordered cream of kidney and two pairs of feet. We don't have that, ma'am. I beg your pardon? We don't have that, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'm in your Philadelphia. I'm sorry. I'm oh, you brought me into your goddamn Philadelphia. I didn't know it was Oh paid. God! Please don't let me be in a Philadelphia. You your don't you tell me about life in Philadelphia. Maybe you're not really in a Philadelphia. I taught you everything you know about Philly, moron. Don't you tell me how to act in a Philadelphia. But maybe you're not really in a Philadelphia. <laughs> Do you see the cheese on that steak? <laughs> <laughs> So, 